Hi guys, today we're looking at WSUS Offline Update. Uh, this is basically a program what you can download from their website which will allow you to download all the updates for from Windows 7 up to Windows 10 uh, as well as uh, versions of Office as well. We'll download them all into one package, you can then take that folder um, and run it on any PC and it'll install all the updates for you without, ha without having to download them individually and going through the Windows update process on every single computer. Um, it's absolutely ideal for any technician if you haven't used it before. This video has been sponsored by ALM Wholesale, laptop supplier to repair and retail stores will ride. And we highly recommend this company because we buy a lot of our products from them for our retail store. Okay, as we said before, we're do looking at WSUS Offline Update, which is basically a program which allows you to download all the Windows updates for all versions of Windows from uh, Windows 7, as well as Office updates as well. It'll download them into one folder, uh, so you then can take that folder uh, onto another PC and run it, and it will install all the updates for you. Uh, it's very simple to use. All you need to do is go onto their website, uh, go to download, their website is just wsusoffline.net you just go to download click the latest version and it will download for you uh, once you've downloaded it and extracted it um, you'll get um, the folder which is called WSU Offline um, and if you go into that folder you'll see several folders and the main update generator if you open the update generator up you get several options in there. You can see which versions of Windows you can actually download the updates for. So if you want all the updates for Windows Server 2008, your ticket, you've got a 64-bit version as well. Windows 7, uh, Server 2012, uh, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and you've got the 64-bit and 32-bit. So if you just wanted to download into specific ones, you can do, or you can download the full lot. Bear in mind if you download the full lot, obviously it's going to download it all in one go. And depending on the speed of your internet, it could take quite a few hours to do. Um, but saying that, it will save time in the long run because you won't have to download updates for each and every machine you do. Um, you can also download and install Windows uh, Defender definitions, service packs, um, stuff like that. Um, you've got security only updates if you really want instead of quality roll ups. You've also got Office on there, so you've got Office 2010, 2013 and 2016, um, so that's all the updates in there. And obviously it gives you the language packs as well, so if you want in different languages, you can choose which languages you want to choose. And all you do is once that's done, there are a few options where you can put make it in ISO and all this, that and the other. But in most cases, all you'll want to do is press start. Uh, once you do that, it'll open up. Uh, your basically your DOS based window uh, and it shows it downloading uh, and at the bottom right it shows each uh, update and how many megabytes it's in uh, and estimated time bear in mind it's going to download a lot of updates so it will take a long time so obviously I'm not going to wait for all that to go through because uh, it's going to take a good few hours to go through even on our fast internet so I'll just close it for now But once it's done, all you need to do to install the updates is basically take that folder to another machine, either on a memory stick, external hard drive, or you can even use it on a server or some sort of NAS system uh, if you want to. Um, once you've done that, you just open up the client folder. And once you're in there, there'll be something what says update install.exe. If you double click on that, it opens up and it basically asks you what you want it to install. Uh, obviously, because I didn't tell it to download all the updates, it's not showing many options on there, but it'll let me install Net Framework uh, 3.5. But if it's got all the updates, um, it'll basically do those automatically and you get the choice of doing your Net Framework security, uh, PowerShell, Silverlight, and stuff like that. Uh, you can also tell it to automatically reboot and recall the machine, um, which basically means it will turn the machine off and turn it back on automatically and install all the updates without you needing to watch. Um, and um, you, once you've done that, you just press start, 
uh, you get your DOS based screen uh, and then it basically goes through and it shows you it going through at the moment it's not done anything because there was nothing available because this machine is fully up to date uh, but as you can see it can help if you're servicing a lot of computers um, or you're in a, a business and you want to uh, uh, do the updates once every so often uh, just in case there's any issues uh, it allows you to roll out the updates whenever you want all at the same time um, and with ease without having to go through the Windows update um, uh, procedure which can be uh, a bit slow especially if um, where you're going has got extremely slow internet if you enjoy this video please feel free to like it and share it uh, and subscribe. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.